you tell us about uh, the the, uh, the letter that you sent and the response from response from the government that basically is no? Yeah, to no. What you I said uh, I said on Monday also it will take no debate, and uh, I along with the 32 other MPs have said it that it's important that Canada be a strong voice and call for a ceasefire. But the government because, doesn't want... It, see, the thing is that, like, so. how many more lives are we going to see? Because, uh, like, uh, the community, like I represent, has really been shaken by seeing the number of the deaths and in the loss of the innocent uh, uh, lives. I, I am concerned about the rising incidents of Islamophobia and anti-Semitism here in our own country. I'm concerned about the safety of my family. Were you uh, spammed by the Chinese government, the spam slash thing? So I, I was notified by the government of Canada uh, via email that I was one of the list of MPs who is targeted uh, by, what is it called, the spa spamouflage. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, I was reassured by that email that there was no direct threat. Um, but I really don't know how they got to that assessment and what was behind it. What did they tell you about what they were doing? Because we haven't seen the videos yet, so wh what did they tell you about I haven't that? seen the videos either. Okay. I just received an, a, a notice this morning uh, that I was part of a, a number of MPs who appear to have been targeted by this uh, operation. So they didn't tell you what these people yeah. said about you or your family members, uh, is that correct? You know, maybe it was in the attachment, but I didn't. I don't recall seeing it. Did you go back and look at your social media from that time when you heard this? Like, to um, see what the targeting might have consisted of? So I don't know if that was the same thing, but there was a repetitive message on my uh, Twitter uh, that someone, there, someone was message different names, different uh, uh, handles, saying, "Take a look at what this person in Vancouver is saying about this member of Parliament that he is corrupt and involved in a corruption." And it was repetedly posted by different number of handles. It clearly looked like a spam. It looked like a spam to me at the time. And now I know that it was uh, orchestrated, I guess, uh, by some group. Is it still up there or has it been... Has it been I don't know. I haven't checked. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. We'll do it. Okay. <laughs> do you know of any colleagues who have been spammed? No, 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 I don't. No, sorry. Does it, uh, does it concern you? The fact that there's a... To be honest with you, it, it happens all the time. It happens all the time. I mean, go on Twitter and find out what they're saying about you, and oh my God, <laughs> you know. So, uh, I think that um, the average citizen seeing that should probably use a little bit of critical thinking, you know, and uh, just say, hey, wait a minute. I mean, Cicero, the old Roman politician, had good advice for every MP. He said, when people speak ill of you, live so that none would believe them. Okay, you got to rely on that. There you are. An official note from the yep. government today about it. Yep. Do, do you feel like this signals that like it's a bigger deal than it used to be, or? I think, yeah. Well, yeah, no, I, I think that uh, if if they've noticed a concerted campaign, uh, then ab absolutely, then it it'll just make us a little bit more vigilant. Um, I mean, our riding was one that uh, a number of us identified the potential for Chinese interference in the last election. Um, and so, you know, been extra special vigilant on that score. But no, I haven't seen anything specifically aimed at me. Not that I haven't deserved it, but I haven't seen it. Somebody, All right, you. okay. Are you one of the MPs that was targeted by the Chinese government with that uh, spamouflage thing on the uh, Twitter or Meta? The benefits of being an old guy is that you don't really read that stuff, so I don't know. But you weren't informed of there know. being a campaign No, again. no, okay. no, as far as I know. Okay, thank you for stopping. Chinese spam attacks, do you know if you've been the victim of any? No, I haven't been the, I haven't been the victim of any. I did see an email go out uh, encouraging parliamentarians just to take notice, but uh, no, no spam attack on me. So you received an email on YouTube? Parliamentarians were advised that there is, uh, there has been some interference in that regard, uh, but not that I'm aware of. There was no explicit mention that uh, I was uh, subject to it, but they're advising all parliamentarians. Thank you.
Donc, euh, aujourd'hui, j'ai reçu un euh, une courriel avec euh, une scam euh, par le gouvernement chinois euh, ciblé euh, pour les certains euh, chefs de la partie, euh, peut-être aussi le premier ministre et les autres parlementaires. Et euh, je ne reçu pas un euh, une courriel qui c'est moi ciblé, mais euh, peut-être les autres parlementaires. Merci beaucoup. Do you know if you've ever been subject to them? There's a release by Global Affairs today saying dozens of MPs were targeted in August and September. Yeah, I'm not aware of uh, being a part of any of those attacks. Is it something that concerns you, generally speaking? Definitely. Any sort of uh, uh, attacks to our uh, uh, infrastructure is always of concern. Thank you. Avez-vous été victime de spamouflage de la part du Parti communiste chinois? Même pas, je ne dois pas être assez important. Mais est-ce que ça vous inquiète quand même de voir que certains de vos collègues l'ont été? Absolument, parce qu'il y a diverses techniques du gouvernement chinois qui sont employées. Le gouvernement chinois est maître dans ces techniques-là. On l'a vu sur l'étude sur l'intelligence artificielle. Il faut faire attention et euh, faire plus qu'attention. Il faut être vraiment proactif là-dessus. Do you want to repeat what you're answering in English? Like, are you worried about the spamouflage technique? I'm really worried because the Chinese government is actually a master in all these techniques. And instead of just uh, following them, we should be proactive and make sure everybody's protected. Thank you. Have you been victim of spamouflage from the part of the Parti communiste chinois? Not my knowledge. Is that what you've been doing? Look, I'm coming to Quebec. I'm going to have the chance to meet them in a few minutes, but I haven't done anything. Can you ask me about the idea of the Saint-Sylvain in the Bande de Gaza? What's the position? Ben en fait, il euh, faut comprendre qu'il y a deux groupes et ces deux groupes-là s'attaquent. Et malheureusement, il y a des victimes dans les deux camps. Et ça, c'est inacceptable. Merci beaucoup. Est-ce que vous voulez cesser le feu? I know that you and the transport minister put out that statement. Uh, can you kind of talk to us about the discussions you had yesterday with both the seaway management and the union? Get back to the table. Get back to the table. Get back to the table. Um, <laughs> You know, that's, that's where we are. We need him back at the table. Uh, we had separate conversations, obviously, uh, one with the employer and one with the union, and just said, look, we really need you back at the table. The Americans, obviously, very interested in this. Uh, Secretary Buttigieg has been, has been on it, uh, my counterpart in labor, and uh, we've kept the ambassadors surprised as well. So, I mean, you know, this is a, this is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I mean, is there anything that, you know, at least the management side should learn from how your approach to the BC port strike where, you know, you really went deep into that policy or that, you know, uh, uh, policy toolkit to ensure that people stay at the table as opposed to waiting for, you know, back to work back legislation? To work legislation. Yeah. yeah, I will do anything to keep that table working. Mm -hmm. That's where the work's got to get done, you know. Uh, back to work legislation is short circuiting the real work that needs to happen at the table. And I can tell you, like, I, the WestJet, WestJet strike, which was averted like at the last hour before May Long weekend, it was the first time that the pilots had actually done a deal with WestJet, with the employer. Before then, it had just been arbitrated or imposed on them. And that night, they told me it was a sea change, and I keep hearing that from them, actually, that this was a new chapter in their, in their labor relations because they did the work together and they arrived at it together as opposed to having it imposed on them. It's a, it's a big, big difference. So if you want sustained labor peace, you allow people to come up with their own deals. Mm -hmm. You don't short circuit the system. Because once you announce that you're open to that all the time, then everybody's going to just, how, why would you negotiate seriously? You just kind of wait for government to intervene. These are two private actors. They are meant to figure this out. Figure it out, do the work, do the work at the table. And the message is, you know, is it clear right now, don't wait for the government to intervene here. Man, I got two weeks I held in BC, proof positive. Do the work. Awesome, thank you. Thanks.